Hey YouTubers, so I'm going to actually keep this one a little bit quick. It's more of an open question really. I know I've covered this a little in the past, but honestly, I am honestly really, really excited for House of Cards Season 5, and I want to know how many of you guys out there who are really excited for House of Cards Season 5, because let me just be clear, I've actually watched this show since it first aired on Netflix, just, you know, I guess like five, six years ago, depending, and... Honestly, this show has blown me away since the very beginning, and now, especially right now, and we don't like to get, you know, I, I just personally don't like to get way too political, uh, you know, in, on this channel or something, and I don't really care, or I don't think it's necessarily part of anything where whatever your political philosophy is, but personally, I think that this is a type of show that we all really kind of need right now, and that isn't to say that you know, the show's lovey-dovey or kind of teaches us to be okay with each other or our political philosophies, but it is one of those shows with all this crazy stuff happening right now in, you know, in Washington and just throughout our government, just seeing something like this where it seems really choreographed and everything kind of works out for one person or another, and you know whether or not you hate Frank Underwood and Claire Underwood, you know that you know, they're just constantly on the run, and sometime at this point, they're just going to get taken out at that, like, regardless of what you think of them, that's probably how this is going to end, so you either like them or you don't, but I just feel like this is type of a show that we all really need, because sometimes, just sometimes, fiction is definitely stranger than life, and sometimes life, or probably most of the times, life is a little bit crazier than fiction, and even though this is an incredibly crazy show, I mean, you have the vice president basically, and a spoiler warning, by the way, but you have the vice president basically, uh, you know, throwing a journalist under the bus or a, a, a subway train and killing a governor or a senator, and then also doing all this other stuff, basically... Uh, having the sitting president resign so he can take over, never been voted into office, and doing everything else that he's done in order to stay in power. Not only that, but also how his relationship with his wife is, and now they're running together. It's just so unbelievably crazy, but I think that's one of the biggest charms of the show. I mean, he is an objectively terrible person, and we get behind him if you like him, and if you don't, you literally hate watch him, and you know... I, I don't necessarily see that as a huge political thing. We just look at people and their character traits and how they decide to do one thing or another. I don't think anyone else in this show is, I guess, redeemable in any any way, shape, or form because they're all kind of I, I, outside of Walker, the old president. I, I really think that a lot of people here are just kind of terrible people in their own right. And I guess, I, I don't know why I like that type of darkness, Uh and television shows, I don't necessarily know why I need it right now. All I know is, with everything going on, I definitely need it. And I just wanted to kind of put this open question to you guys right now. Like, are you excited about it? Do you think that this is going to be a good thing, uh, actually having to watch this show? Personally, I think the biggest problem I have with this particular series, or any Netflix series really, is that it's not worth talking about unless the show's either coming on very soon, you know, uh, May 30th is when this show is coming on, or as the show's actually on for about a week or two as the great, like the vast majority of the audience will probably binge watch it or something. And that's a really good system, especially for us, the consumers. But in terms of actually talking about it, the one thing that Netflix always kind of makes me mad about is water cooler talk, you know, at work or at school or something. It just kind of goes out the window. We start... Bad, we start bagging on each other because we don't want spoilers or something. Someone watches it quicker than you. You don't have time to watch it opening day or whatever, and you necess you can't finish it, so you can't look up spoilers. You can't do any of that stuff. There's no communal watching period that comes on once a week. And while that's good, it's also bad because I can't make videos about this show and have any real traction on it. People don't care unless it's around that time. So it is around that time. I thought I would just basically try to ask and see who's excited and for what reasons. Personally, I've made videos in the past suggesting that this video or this season actually is going to end the series. I would really like that. But honestly, I think they've already really been talking about even more into the future, maybe six 
I've heard people kind of describe and argue up till seven, uh, eight, any of those type of things. We don't necessarily know when the show's going to end. I just kind of made my point as to why it would be a decent ending, considering everything that they did last season, where they took basically the entire events of the first three seasons and brought almost all the main points back in order to tell that particular story. So I think that that's really cool. I hope you think that's really cool too. Uh, we know season three kind of faltered and wasn't necessarily as good as season one or two. Obviously season one, in my opinion, is the best, and then it's season four, and then season uh, three, and or actually season one, season three, season four, season two, and season three. Hopefully season five is way up there. Uh, it Maybe even if it's just on par with season two, I think that will be uh, a definite, uh, that will be a definite like, upscale we don't necessarily need to have it be the best season ever in order for it to be entertaining and continue to watch it and everything like that but like i said please make sure to go down in the comment section below i hope you already have and tell me whether or not you're excited about this show why you're excited about this show and what you really want to see from this upcoming season i'm going to catch on the next video bye